Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to The Mess, I mean, the shop. Today I'm going to be cutting up and welding some steel to build some mounts for the subframe. Here we have some 10 inch by 2 and 3 quarter inch four and a half inch wide pieces of half inch channel. We are going to use these to build some spring mounts for the subframe. As well as the channel, I'll be using some 3 16 inch thick flat bar, about five inches long and three inches wide. And once this is cut into five inch sections, I'll cut it diagonally to make gussets for each side of the channel. The downside to using channel is that the legs are not parallel on the inside surface. So to correct this, I'm going to weld a few beads on the low side and then grind it flat so the washers and springs can sit level. After a couple of passes, it's built up enough to grind it back down. And now with everything ground down, the washers can sit flat. Next up, I'm welding on the side gussets. I don't think we need much added strength because of the thickness of the channel, but this is also going to help when I add the guide plates on the side later on. Now that the gussets are welded on, I'm going to do a mock-up of how the springs and rods are going to fit. The rod I'm using for mock-up is just standard threaded rod, but for the final fitment, I'll be using all grade 8 hardware and pre-tensioning the springs to add some stiffness. Once the subframe is complete, there will be a gap between the two halves on the final attachment, but I think you get the idea of how this is going to work. Each half will be attached using grade 8 hardware and attached to the chassis using the original holes. Splitting the springs to upper and lower allows for a more compact mount. These springs will allow for about 7 to 8 inches of travel when minimally compressed. This mount is specifically for the front end of the chassis and will be more compressed for a tighter spring tension. The mid and rear mounts will use slightly different spring rates and lengths but using the same basic concept. The main advantage I see of mounting the subframe this way is that it allows for adjustment should things change. Everyone's camper box is going to be slightly different, so just building what someone else built may not have the desired outcome. Additionally, things tend to get added or modified once projects are complete. Nothing's ever complete, is it? So this type of setup can be tweaked by tightening or loosening the threaded rod to change the preload on the springs, and additionally the springs can be swapped out for stiffer or softer springs if they need to be, without modifications to the entire assembly. Well, I have five more of these to build, and that's a lot of cutting and welding and grinding and then more grinding and more cutting and more welding, so I'm going to get at it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.